You know, everything is already aligned with Cardi B, you know, for her to be a mega superstar and blow up the way she did. Obviously, she put a lot of hard work into it, you know, being a cardinal sign, you know, being a Libra. Today's her birthday, actually, the 11th. But if you look closely at it, it being the year to two this year, if you add that up, two plus one is three, plus that eight is 11, and then that 11 breaks down to a two. But before you see the two, you see that 11 frequency. And Cardi B herself, she's also born the 11. So that 11 lined up with the 11th year, you know, giving up that master frequency 22. You know what I'm saying? And not to mention, this actually came into play from last year. Cause if you look closely, last year it was the year of the one. You break down that two plus the one equals three plus that seven, it gives you a 10 frequency. That 10 complement the 10th month of a year. And not to mention she had a lot of different ones in the aspect. She has the one within the 10 and she has the one one within the 11. And that complements both this year and last year. So all this was aligned right, you know what I'm saying? And Cardi B dropping Bodak Yellow last year, it truly complemented the frequency of the one, you know what I'm saying? Because that frequency behind Bodak Yellow when you hear the track, it had that energy behind that was very authoritative but had that leader-like quality to it. And you know the number one is the same thing. It's the number of leadership, it's the number of the initiators, someone that's ready to start something new. And not to mention that one is ruled by the sun, that, that same sun that rules Leo. And Leos and Libras get along very well. So the energy with the one, it really complemented her sign for it to be the megastar that she is today. And when you look closely, you know Cardi B, her life path is a six. That same six is ruled by Venus, the same Venus that rules Libra. So actually with her being a Libra and having the life path six, it complements her very well and everything's very balanced. And with, that pe and with people born in the six or having a life path six, they tend to be very lucky and fall to the right opportunities. As long as they work hard, the rewards will be tremendous, you know what I mean? So in this factor too, this also has a lot of protection over why she's so successful. With her being ruled the master number 11, it shows that she's very intuitive and can connect well with her fans, you know, on a deep level. Cause if this number 11 has a duality between it being ruled by the sun, but also the moon heavenly. So because of this, she can emotionally connect with people easily. And not to mention her life path is a six. You know, the six is ruled by earth. And when people have earth signs, they're very loyal and down to earth. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So with that being said, she could be also be very loving because the six is a number of love and it's actually very strong with the verb. Yes, they can make fun of her the way she talks with her lingo and all that, but still she connects and she's very vibrant when she talks and everybody connects with her. And also she's a Libra. Libras are very down to earth too and pretty real when they want to be. <laughs> Well, you know, Cardi B being a Libra and an air sign, <laughs> one thing about air signs, they talk a lot, woo! <laughs> but with her having that master number 11, she'll be able to connect with people and talk about serious matters as well and not make it all about herself, you know?